Hey and welcome to Levin's Review, I'm David and thank you so much for joining us. Lately I'm uploaded a full review of the G-Skill RGB memory RAM and if you did not watch this video yet, then I'm strongly recommend you to watch it. I will put link up here. In this video I'm focused on the technical side. I'm going to show you how to connect the memory to the motherboard in the right way. Also I'm going to teach you how to use the software that controls the RGB effect. So without further ado, let's start! If this is your first time you're connecting RAM to the motherboard, then I'm strongly recommend you to follow my step carefully, and if needed, watch it again until you fully understand it. The first step is turn off the computer, then unplug the power cable from the power supply. And now push the on-off button and keep pushing it for a couple of seconds to discharge the entire electricity. Now release the toggles at the two sides of the channel. If you look closely at the memory, you will see that the notch is located near to the center, but not exactly in the center. The same thing also in the motherboard side. Line up the notch of the RAM stick to the notch inside the motherboard's memory slot. And then apply pressure onto the RAM stick until the toggles in the side lock the RAM in. Ok, let's get the electricity back and now turn on the computer. When you turn on the computer, the RGB light will start to work after a couple of seconds. By default you will see the rainbow effect, but if you look closely, the rainbow RGB effect is not synchronized, but we can fix that with the G-Skill software. Now let's go to G-Skill website and download the software. Of course I will put all the links in the description down below. I recommend downloading the most up-to-date version. Right now this is the latest version. The file that we download is a zip file, so we need to extract the file by right click on the file and then click extract all and once again click extract. And now double click on the software and run. If you want you can change the path of the installation and click next, next and install. Now it's recommended to choose the yes restart the computer now and click finish. After the computer is start up you will see the G-Skill software. Open the software. From the fourth side you can see the interface divided into two parts. The upper control buttons and the left button control the light effects. And down you have the apply and reset buttons. Let's start from turning off and on the light. Select LED OFF and apply. To turn on, unselect the LED OFF and apply. The software provides us with up to 4 profiles. Let's select profile 1 and move on to the effects. Eyes in the sky, gazing far. In every effect you can make unique adjustments like brightness, speed, colors, and effect direction.
sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Okay, let's move to the music effect by selecting music and apply. The light will turn off, but when you turn on the music, the lights will react accordingly to the beat of the music. As you can see, the software provides you almost unlimited customization options, and you can adjust the appearance of your memory according to your personal preference. I recommend you to try everything the software has to offer, and you don't have to worry if something goes wrong. You always can press the reset button and everything returns to factory settings. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please click the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel. If you have any comment or questions, let me know in the comment down below. Like always, I wish you a beautiful day and of course, I will see you in the next video.